Hey, welcome back to another vlog. Today, Andrew and I are decorating our Yule tree and I'm so excited. I'm ready to decorate for the holiday season. We gotta take our fall decorations down and put up our winter ones. And we're gonna make some of our own ornaments this year, which is gonna be really fun. I wanted to do something much more natural and rustic, so that's the look I'm kinda going for. But you'll see in a minute. First though, I'm gonna make us some coffee. So I've been making these cold brew coffees at home for Andrew and I to save money so we don't have to go buy them at Starbucks. Um, and they are really, really good. So I'm gonna show you how I do that now. By the way, I'm back to recording on my vlogging camera. The last couple of vlogs were filmed on my iPhone and they looked pretty sketchy in the low light of my house. So I'm back to using my vlogging ca camera in the house so hopefully the quality looks better. So first I'm gonna go in the fridge, which really needs to be cleaned out. We need to do a fridge clean out day. And I'm gonna get my Starbucks cold brew. This is just the regular uh, coffee concentrate signature black. Now I did try to buy an off brand of this one time and it was really gross and bitter. So I'm just gonna stick with the Starbucks brand. It's really, really good. So it's concentrated and this bottle makes like eight, I think. It says five servings per container, but I'm, I use four ounces at a time. So it makes like eight to 10 cups, I think. I don't know, I can't do math like that. Don't expect me to do math right now. Okay, four ounces. And how many ounces are in here? 32. So it makes eight servings the way I make them. Okay, math complete. See, here's the instructions on the side. So you just fill your favorite glass with ice, pour four, four ounces of concentrate, add four ounces of water. I've been adding too much water to this. I've been making these weak. Oh my God, Andrew. I've been adding eight ounces of water to four ounces of concentrate. But this says you're supposed to add four ounces. Oops. I'm gonna keep making it the way I've been making it though. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm not getting that much coffee. All right, so I have these little shaker bottles. I really like these because they have the ounces printed on the side of them. And I bought, I bought a four set of these off Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, but they have the the measurements on the side so it's really easy to fill up and I don't have to get out measuring cups and stuff. So I'm gonna grab two of these. They came in various colors, which I didn't care about the colors. I just wanted them for function. And then I'm gonna pour up to the four ounce mark of concentrate. So about that much, it's not a lot. Making one for Andrew too. Okay. Oops, did you see what I just did? I just tried to put this lid onto this. <laughs> wow, Cindy, okay. It goes on something. So then I'm gonna take this over to our water fountain thing and I'm gonna put it here. And I have been filling this up to 12. Which apparently you're only supposed to go to eight, but this has been working for us. So that's what I'm doing. Apparently I don't know how to read directions. <laughs> Oops, I have it on milliliters. I don't know what milliliters are. I gotta go to ounces. It has both, um, oh, that just spilled out. It has both milliliters and ounces on it. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is get out my syrup. And today we're gonna have something different. In my last vlog, I bought this classic uh, caramel sugar-free syrup. And once again, I know these are not healthy for you. They really are not. I would not recommend having artificial sweeteners, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get through your life. And when you're trying not to have sugar and you need a treat, I mean, they work. They have zero calories, zero carbs, zero, zero everything. It's all zeros. Um, but it is, what is it? Sucralose. 
It's sucralose and xanthan gum. And like some citric acid and natural flavors and caramel color. It can't be healthy. But you know what? We're having it anyway. Because nobody can be 100% perfect all the time. You know? If you expect to be perfect, you're going to fail. In all aspects of your life. That's how I look at it. I'm making progress by not being perfect. Alright, so I have a tablespoon here. And this is 15 milliliters for those of you that don't use tablespoons. And I'm going to fill this up. And put one tablespoon into each, or 15 milliliters into each cup. And by the way, it is 350 milliliters of liquid total that I have in here, if you wanted to know that for some reason. Oh my gosh, that syrup smells so good too. It smells really good. And then, out of the depths of the refrigerator, I'm going to get half and half. So I used this Horizon Organic half and half. And the reason why I use this one is because it doesn't have anything in it except for milk and cream. That's it. No gums or like weird uh, additives or anything. It's just grade A organic milk, grade A organic cream. I'm not too hung up on the organic, but all of the non-organic ones in my store have like gums and stuff added to them. I swear every time I'm in the kitchen doing something on film, my washing machine is going. So that's the sound that you hear. It's kind of loud. It's old. <laughs> so then I just take one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of the cream and add that to each cup. And then I add ice. So I'm just going to grab some out of the freezer. We have like a bag of ice in here. Sometimes I have to take my mallet and beat the ice to loosen it up. So I'm going to add ice to each one. Okay. handy reusable straws these are metal or stainless steel straws we've had these for years um, I don't know this is what I used to drink everything with and I'm gonna give them a stir and put the lids on so the lids have this hole um, so the straw can go through or you can just drink it right out of there I prefer to drink my coffee with a straw because it doesn't stain your teeth as bad if you drink it with a straw because you can like get it behind your teeth. You know what I mean? At least that's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. I don't know if it's 100% true. All right, so let's give it a try. This is my first time trying the caramel flavor. It's pretty good. It's very subtle. Like it's not a very strong flavor at all. Very subtle. You can taste it. It has like an aftertaste of caramel. I don't think it's my favorite. I think my favorite is still the classic hazelnut. That one has good flavor. This one has a very subtle flavor, but oh well, we'll have to use it now. I don't think I'll buy it again though. I'm gonna go give Andrew his and we're gonna see what he thinks about it. Here you go, dear. Try this. Take a break and tell me what you think of the caramel flavor. That's pretty good. It's pretty definitely good. not bad. It's like, like, I think like you said, it was not as strong as the other one, I think. Mm -mm. Hazelnut's better, you think? Hazelnut's definitely the best. Yeah. Gibbons, do you have something to say? Do you have something to say? Oh. Oh. 
I know, you wanna go outside. Daddy already took you out once today, and I'll take you out again later. Poor baby. Yes, your life is so hard. All right, so first things first, guys. We have to put away our fall decorations, and here they are. <laughs> I did not decorate very much this year for fall and spooky season. I got this cloth that is covering our record player um, from the Goodwill outlet for literally like five cents and it's got sparkly spiders on it. And then I also found this at the Goodwill bins and I found this at a garage sale. And Gibbons, you're also part of the fall decor. Look how good he looks next to the pumpkin. Gibbons. Oh, that's a good picture. That's a good picture. So we're gonna put these away. We didn't even get out the rest of our decor this year. All right, so I'm just gonna take, and I haven't showed you guys this record player that Andrew and I got at an estate sale. It is amazing and dusty. That kind of adds to the vibe, right? So let me, I don't know how to do this, baby. I'm just gonna kind of fill fold this up and we'll put this in the bin with our other decorations but check out this record player y'all this is an emerson we bought this for 20 dollars at an estate sale up on top it plays records we got a king gizzard in there <laughs> that's andrew's artistic touch um and it plays freaking cds i don't know how to open this it, anyway it plays cds right here and then over on the side it plays tapes, y'all. Cassette tapes. How awesome is that? That is a cool record player, which we love. But now I'm thinking, where are we going to put the Christmas tree? Because this is usually where we put the tree. I don't know. We got to figure that out. We've decided to pull out the Christmas tree, see how big it is first, and then decide where we're going to put it. Um, I really have no idea what we're going to do. Let's pull it out, baby. So here's the tree down here on the ground. And Andrew's about to open it up so we can see what we're working with. And you can see there's Gibbons for size comparison. It's not very big, but we didn't want a huge tree. We wanted something small that would fit in our tiny house. Do you need scissors? You're gonna just gonna tear it open with your claws with your bare hands. <laughs> Seriously, you want me to get you scissors? No, he's got it, he's got it. That's, that was manly, baby. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. So last year, you may remember, we had a real tree. And as much as I love the idea of having a real tree, because I just feel like the energy is so much better. It was so much of a pain in the ass that we vowed never again. Because I still find pine needles in the carpet to this day. It's been like a year. So we got this artificial tree and it looks pretty good. Is that all that came with it? Is that the base? Yep. Let's see. Yeah, let's stand it up so we can see where we might be able to put it. I kind of don't want to put it on the ground because I'm worried about this one over here. He's already looking at it. He's already got his sight set on the tree. I'm hoping the smells of the cinnamon and oranges and stuff will keep him away, but who knows, that might attract him more. So that's how tall it is. Not bad. My other idea is that we can put it on the plant stand over here where the umbrella tree is. I don't know if it'll fit because of the width of the base. All right, let me help you with the branches. All right, so we're just gonna, I, I guess start at the bottom. That was, oh, it's pre-lit too. This is a pre-lit tree. So it has like a uh, lights in it. So we gotta be careful about that. Gosh, I hope it works. Wouldn't it be terrible if it didn't? Is Gibbons in his tunnel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're just gonna do this here. Okay, 
well that's not too bad we got the branches sort of arranged one side is a little bit skimpier than the other but I think once we get it set up with the ornaments it'll be fine so we're thinking about using one of these plant stands over here I think you could take which one looks wider I think those are exactly the same take the snake plant off well that's cute it's not that high off the ground. You know, we could put a little Christmas skirt, a skirt yeah. over that too. I'll have to get one. Andrew's moving the tree over in front of the window, kind of, where we have an outlet and plugging it up. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, that looks really cute. I wish it was higher up so we could be like in the window, but we can't put it on this plant stand because it won't fit and the legs won't go through the bottom. So what we may do is get a skirt to put on this stand and like set it up on a box or something. But for now, that's really cute. All right, now we're gonna open this Amazon box that has some of our supplies in it. I use scissors. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Big. Those are really big. I thought I was buying small pine cones. They're quite large. <laughs> Only need about four um, or five of those for the tree. Yeah, those are really big. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to return these. I don't think these are gonna work. They're really big. I thought I was buying minis. Those are like full size. Yeah, they're full size too. Okay, I'm gonna return these and get some smaller ones, but we are gonna have, we are gonna have pine cones. And then I got some needles, some sewing needles, and some twine. And then I also have some cinnamon sticks over here. So today, I guess we're just doing cinnamon sticks. I also have some orange slices that I bought from a farm on Etsy. I'm waiting on those to come and I'm going to use the twine to make little dried orange ornaments. So we'll have to do the oranges and the pine cones on another day. But today we'll at least, we'll at least get the cinnamon sticks. And when I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw that they have the mini pine cones there. So we can just go buy those there but I am gonna return those to Amazon, unfortunately. Or maybe I'll see if somebody wants them, like your mom or something. Yeah, she might, or Carmen. Or Carmen. Okay. So I got these cinnamon sticks and I really wish I would have waited because when we went to Hobby Lobby on Black Friday, they had a big bag of cinnamon sticks that was like way cheaper than these, but I bought two of these. They're organic at least. Um, from Amazon, but I kind of wish I would have waited, but I didn't know they were going to have those. I didn't expect it, but these are nice, uh, nice small size that we can make little ornaments out of. So let me get everything together. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. They smell good. They smell really good. They do. They smell nice. This is Ceylon Flavors brand. Gibbons, do you like cinnamon? <laughs> he just wants to be the star of the show. All right, I don't know if my head was cut off in that last segment, but sorry. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is take this twine and just kind of cut off a piece. I don't know how big of a piece yet. I'm just, I'm just trying something here. And then I'm gonna take two cinnamon sticks and put them like on top of each other, kind of maybe like in a little cross pattern or something and tie them together. Maybe, <laughs> if I can figure it out. This was my idea when I bought these. Now let's see if it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna make like, kinda like a little bundle like this. And let's see, I'm just gonna tie it up really nice and tight. Are you watching this baby? Cause he's gonna help me make some too. Okay. Is it, does it hold? It hold. Wait, kind of. 
<laughs> it holds good enough, and then once you get them tied, we can kind of twist them. That's what I've got going. I'm just going to make a couple of knots. Yeah, you can get started. And then I'm going to tie this again to make a little loop so we can put it on the tree. And then I'll cut off any excess. So this is a really easy, really easy way to make your own natural ornaments. Just buy some cinnamon sticks. You can get them at the grocery store. You can get them at the craft store. You can get them at Amazon. I'm trying to get that to focus. There we go. And you just make your little bundles. And you could do all kinds of different things with this. Like, if you're craftier than me. I thought it might be neat if you had, like, a hot glue gun. To sort of glue, like, some little holly on here. Or some berries or something. You could make it really cool stuff. But we're going to start really basic. Andrew outdid me. Look what he did. His is so cute. How did you do that? And look at mine. <laughs> Andrews is so much nicer. So cute. How did you do that? Is oh, it, your, your twine's a little frayed, but... You just wrap it twice. Oh, no, it's coming in. All right, show no, me... Fine. Okay, show me how you did that. Show us how you did that. I need another string. Okay, I'll cut you one. So he just kind of... I still don't know what you're doing. He wrapped it around somehow. Okay, guys, I think I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show you what Andrew did to make these so pretty. So what you want to do is make a cross with your cinnamon sticks and put your twine underneath. So one string is coming up diagonally on each side. Then you want to cross them over. It's kind of hard to do. Now, Gibbons! Especially when you have a cat trying to attack you. You want to take one string, Gibbons. <laughs> Gibbons, you're making this really hard. And the side that doesn't have a string coming over it, you want to pull that under and bring it up diagonally on the other side. And then you want to do the same thing here, right? Am I going the right, like this? Wait, which way? It doesn't really matter. It's just which side needs support more. It's okay, like, so up and diagonally around the other as side. As long as your brain come up with both sides and it's all wrapped up, it's fine. Okay. And yeah, that feels like it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, that looks good to me. Then so you then you just tie your knots. So I'm going to tie one knot to keep it together. Okay. And I'm going to double tie that just to keep it very secure. Oh my gosh. And then the last thing is to make your little loop to hang it on the tree like this. And then you can cut off any extra twine you have. I'm so happy I figured it out. So this is how we're going to make our ornaments and we're going to use all the rest of the cinnamon sticks now. All right, y'all, we only had enough cinnamon sticks to make six ornaments, but look how cute they turned out. Now we're gonna put them on the tree, I guess, and then I'm gonna buy some more cinnamon sticks when we go shopping next so we can make some more. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put one here. Oh, they look cute! Okay, so I put one on. I'm gonna put another one on here. Yeah, we definitely need to make some more. But they go on and they look so good. Look at that. This will be fun to do like with your kids or grandkids or something. If you wanted to make some pretty ornaments for your tree that are natural and smell really good. And cinnamon has a really nice energy for the winter, winter season. But we definitely do not have enough of these. Our tree is going to look pretty bare. Oh wow, I made a big ass loop on that one. But this is just the beginning. We're going to do part tree, part tree, <laughs> part two of the Yule tree. And um, when we do our oranges and pine cones too. Oh, I also have some uh, like canvas ribbons. We could do those now. 
Look how pretty that looks. I mean, really, they look gorgeous on the tree. They do. We just need like a lot more of them. <laughs> so I got these canvas ribbons. At least I think they're canvas. That's what they look like to me. Or they almost look like they could be made out of hemp. There's some kind of natural material. It doesn't say on the plastic container they're in. Um, but I got these at Hobby Lobby because I wanted to add a little bit of color, of red color, because I really like red for Yule at Christmas and winter time. And they have these clips on the back. I guess oh, so you cool. could clip them on, but they also have these twine hangers. So that's probably what I'm going to use on the tree. So let's put some of these on. I was worried they were going to be too big for the tree. But let's see how they look once we get them on there. I don't know. I don't think they look too big. No, not at all. No? Okay, let's add some more. I bought two packages of them. One, two, three, four, five. So there's, we have 12 of them. So let's see. I really like how they have a very natural look to them too, which is kind of what I'm going for on my artificial Christmas tree, trying to keep it natural. So there's two, I'll put one over here. And I bought two packages because I thought if I didn't use them all on the tree, then I could just use them for some other decoration around the house. But I think I'll use them all on the tree. I like an artificial tree too because you can uh, move around the branches as you need to. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. I like things to stay symmetrical. Put another one over here. They're very stiff so they, they work really well. Y'all this is looking so adorable. I absolutely love it. I just want to, I don't even know. <laughs> Where we're going to put the oranges and pine cones, y'all. This thing's going to be crowded. Maybe I'll use them for a different craft. We'll see. But so far, it's cute. Andrew is pulling out our Christmas tubs. We have a couple of, of like, these plastic tubs in the closet that we keep all our Christmas stuff in. This looks like it's a lot of wrapping stuff. I see some ornaments down there, which we're not going to use this year. But Andrew remembered that we actually had some pine cones somewhere. So that's what we're looking for. All right, they are in this tub. I can see them in the bottom. Is oh, there there's our wreath. Oh, yeah, our little Christmas tree. Okay, well, we need to put that. We were going to put that in the kitchen. So keep that out. That's our little tiny one. That was our original Christmas tree. Here are the little pine cones that I found that we had. And I think these will look really good on the tree. So we're going to use these. They have like fake snow on them, but they are real pine cones. I really kind of wanted them just plain pine cones, but since we already have these. I think the white adds another color to it. That's yeah, like, too. like another dimension. I agree. Okay, here she is in her final form. The only thing we have left to do are the oranges. And I hope I can find room for those once we get our orange slices. But I really, really like how it turned out. And I think I'll show you again at night because I know there's this big blinding light in the window behind it, so it's kind of hard to see. But I hope you can tell how pretty it is. I love it. What do you think, Andrew? I love it too. Awesome. What do you think, Gibbons? You gonna tear it up? Please don't. We also have our wreath over here that we got last year. Um, it's a really pretty wreath. I don't know where we're gonna put it though. We'll have to figure that out. And I'm also gonna get our stockings out. So we just have like these cheap felt stockings, but we they work fine. And I only see one of them in here, Andrew. Ta-da! Here is our console area now. We found the other stocking. It was like in the closet. <laughs> and I bought this beautiful cardinal at Hobby Lobby when everything was like 60% off. So it only cost me like $3. I think it's supposed to be an outdoor decoration. I love cardinals so much and I never get to see them here because they don't live here. <laughs> so I miss seeing them whenever I was in Arkansas and they just bring me a lot of joy in the winter time. So I got this beautiful, it's like made out of metal. 
I may hang it outside, but for right now, I'm going to leave it right here. And then we have our, our wreath, which I have no idea where I'm going to put this yet. It's a lovely Christmas wreath, but we can't hang it on our door because our door has this glass on it. So I don't know. And then of course, our beautiful tree, which is not quite complete, but it's getting there. I've got more to do, but for today, I wanna to put my little Christmas tree in the kitchen because it just brings a little bit of cheer and joy to me whenever I'm in the kitchen and it's lit up, especially at night. So here it is, I just need to plug it in. It doesn't have any ornaments on it. It does have a garland on it though. I may put some ornaments on it, I don't know. So I'm just gonna plug it in over here. There we go. I love it. Let me turn the light off and see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's how it looks kind of in natural light. I just heard a knock at the door and I went outside to see who it was and it was the mailman. My orange slices just got here. So they came in this box. Andrew's already gone to work though and I don't want to do it without him. So we'll have to do make the orange ornaments another day, but I still wanna open them up and look at them. So let's see, they actually sent them via media mail, which you are not supposed to do. I don't know, I don't know how they got away with that. Like media mail is only for like books and uh, magazines and stuff. So I don't know, it says media mail on it. Oh my God, the smell, the smell like wafting out of this box y'all. Now let me show you, I'm trying to like not show my address. So this is what the box looks like. I got this from an Etsy shop called CD Rons. S-E-E-D-Y Rons. Um, they look beautiful. CD Rons, Ron Betty Head Gardener, it says. Oh, they smell fantastic. So here's one sleeve of them. And they are just literally dried orange slices. But I really wanted to do these for ornaments. Why does it have tomato facts on it? Okay. Okay. It says rare organically grown heirloom seeds and fruit. Mmm. I love to support a small um, business whenever I can. So I love to buy things on Etsy to support small creators, gardeners, whoever's selling on there. Mm, they smell so good. So anyway, we're gonna use some twine and needle and a needle to make these into ornaments, but we're gonna save that for another day because I wanna do it with Andrew. So I just wanted to, before I end this vlog, I wanted to say thank you so much to those of you who bought me a coffee uh, from the last video. So thank you so much to Brianna, Alexandra, Des, Nikki and Caitlin, thank you so much for buying me a coffee. Some of you guys bought me multiple coffees, like five coffees. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you wanna support me and buy me a coffee, you can find the link down below in the description box. I really appreciate that. So I guess I'm going to wrap up the vlog for today, y'all. I've gotta go do some journaling. So what I like to do, I usually do this in the morning, but I had a lot of stuff going on this morning, so I didn't have time, so I'm gonna do it tonight instead. But I like to put on the Deep Focus playlist from Spotify, which is just some really nice, soothing instrumental music. It's really beautiful and really nice for the background when you have some work to do. So I like to put that on and then I write in my journal. I do four pages a day and it really helps me just get my thoughts out and down on paper. I don't know, I really enjoy it. So that's what I'm gonna go do now and probably have a cup of tea. And then I'm probably just gonna watch some TV and hang out for the rest of the night, wait for Andrew to get home and enjoy the light of my Yule tree, yay. <laughs> So let me know in the comments, what are you doing to decorate this year? I love to hear other people's ideas because it gives me ideas. So let me know. All right, and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the vlogs. I'm so glad that you like them and all of your comments are so sweet. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.